Today's beading lesson is a tip on how to use braid to create a pattern of bead stitching. So what I'm doing is making a bracelet like this. And I started out with this really beautiful flat suede braid and I just embellished the top with some metal beads and seed beads using thread. So this is just a nice technique, a way that you can add some embellishment to braided strap. So the way that you get started is cut your piece of suede to the length that you want your bracelet to be. And don't forget to include the clasp, right? So you wanna make sure that your cutting includes the length of your clasp. And just trim this with scissors. And the sharper scissors, the better. Because this is precision braided, it stays together really nicely. And then when you use the sharp scissors, it also helps keep it together. So then you're going to use some glue. And this is an industrial strength type adhesive that you can just use to attach to the ends here. And what I'm doing is kind of pressing the braid together with my fingers too as I add my glue. And I'm doing this over a little piece of paper so that in case I get any drips, I don't get it on my work surface. Now what I'll do is just press this into place inside the end cap here. And one little tip for that is if you don't get all of your suede right into the end cap, you can use something to help push it in. So you can use a beading awl, you could even use the end of a paper clip. I have an awl here that I'll use to just press it in to the end cap. And then you're going to let this dry. Of course, just set this aside and let it dry for the recommended amount of time for your glue. Now you'll notice that I have my clasp together here. The reason is because a lot of times you might attach one end and then be upside down on the other end. So if it's attached, you know that you have the right ends. So we would glue both ends, and then we're ready to start our stitching. Now you'll notice on this one that I already have attached the ends to, that the pattern is, there are some openings here in the pattern, and that's where I'm going to attach each of my beads. So I've threaded my needle with some thermally bonded beading thread, and I'll just pass up through the back of the braid. And I'm just going to leave a little bit of a tail so that I can tie it on the back here. Now I'm going to go nearest to, through the other side of the braid near this crossover part here. That's where I'm starting to use that pattern to hide my thread. And I'll tuck it in here and tie it on the back. And to tie it, I'm just doing an over, or a square knot here, right over left, and then left over right, right through. And then I'll trim my ends close and use that braid to create the beading pattern on the front of my bracelet. So now, as you're ready to start stitching, something that I look for with the beads that I wanted to attach to this was to have a bead that has kind of a broad base. So I'm coming up through the back of the braid, and then get my scissors out of the way. There we go. Pull it right up through the back, and then you can pick up some beads and start stitching them onto that surface. So this is just a nice way to add a little bit of embellishment. And what's going to hold it in place is the seed bead on top. So I'll bring my metal bead all the way down to the braid and then pass back through just the metal bead and get my first bead into position. And then I'll show you where I'm going to come up through the next part of the braid following that pattern. You would just keep adding your beads to the top of the surface of the braid. If you take a look at this bracelet here, you can see how it's lining up along the surface. And I brought a couple of other examples. These aren't embellished, but these are some other ideas of how you might use the braid and then embellish it on pieces of jewelry that you're making.